Dusty's missing? Since when? Since we apprehended Paul. There is no way that Dad is going to let you talk to Paul. Well, someone has to look out for him here. There is no evidence. There is no body. And if you don't keep your voice down, Barbara, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You should be talking about dropping charges against Paul, not adding to no, them. No, we are not dropping anything until I find out what happened to Dusty. Emily, you shouldn't be here. Shh, say anything. We don't have much time. I just saw Meg. She has Dusty's wallet. And it has blood all over it. What do you know about that, Paul? was found at the cemetery well within town limits you can't railroad him for jumping bail he hid your grandson from you barbara or if he forgot he was that. trying to protect the family from craig montgomery oh, excuse me the issue here is dusty where is he well i'd find that out if your father would let me talk to my son no one is talking to paul not until he's been arraigned you're not going to drag him in front of a judge without his lawyer present dusty is missing Meg has his wallet, his license, everything. We don't have much time. What do you know about this? What do I know about Dusty's wallet? Look, don't play dumb with me. I know you, remember? The police are getting ready to put out an APB on Dusty. They're taking his disappearance very seriously, and they think you were involved. Me? I'm sitting here chained to a table. No, maybe you sent Meg to do your dirty work. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time you lured a woman to do something illegal. Now, would it? Did you promise to marry her, too? You are way off base here. Meg has his wallet, and it's covered in blood. Maybe she found it. Maybe you told Meg to get rid of him. What? I, 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 you know what? I don't, I don't even know what you're talking know, about here, Emily. I know you would do anything to protect Jennifer. I know that firsthand. And now that Dusty's back in her life, I wouldn't put it past you to sick Meg on him. That is not what happened. So I... She acted alone? Look, I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened to Dusty, all right? But Meg and I, our relationship is about one thing. She helped me get better because you shot me. And, and once I was healed, we pretty much went our separate ways. And why would Meg want to hurt Dusty? Because she loved him and he dumped her. And unfortunately, we both know what that can do to a woman. Trust me, it ain't pretty. Meg? What did you just throw in the river? Oh, what are you doing here? I asked you a question. <laughs> Nothing. A, a stone. Uh, I was making a wish. Meg, I really hated when you lied to me. How do you know that Meg has Dusty's wallet? Henry found it in her hotel room. I saw it. I mean, she admitted it. Why are you covering for her? I'm not covering for her. Okay, good. So then you won't have a problem if I go to the police. What, and tell them what? That you, that you broke into Meg's room? I don't think you, you should tell them that. But believe it or not, I am trying to help you out here. That's why I, I didn't say anything to Hal about the wallet, and I won't. If you think it's going to make things worse. I think it'll make things worse for you. Look, Hal isn't happy with either one of us right now. And if he thinks even for a minute that you're trying to help me, who knows what he'll do. So I shouldn't say anything? No. Meg saved my life. Emily, I think you should thank her instead of ratting her out, even though I'm sure she hasn't done anything. Oh, she's done something. I just don't know what. Damn it. I knew it. Get out of here, Emily, now before I arrest you. You're gonna tell me what happened to Dusty Donovan right now. We know that Dusty came to see you at your motel room, that you argued, 
that he left and you didn't, his car is still in the parking lot, and we found his blood on your cane. You're wasting your time now. I've got nothing to say to you. Good news, they've moved your arraignment to the front of the line. Oh, great, let's go. You know, I gave up trying to understand your years of blood, Paul, but this. Do you understand what you're facing? The old charges for keeping Jennifer's baby from her? Obstruction of justice, accessory after the fact? And now these charges for jumping bail? You're going to prison, there's no way around it, no matter what you've done to Dusty. Is there a point to all this, Hal? Have a little mercy on your sister. If you know where Dusty is, tell me. Can't do that. Well, then I hope they lock you up and throw away the key. Good, you got my message. Yeah, you called everybody but my mother, Emily. You know what? That's actually a good idea. Maybe you should give me her number and just... In I'm just kidding. It's a, it's what a joke. What do you want? What do you want? What? I, wh where's Meg? Uh, well, I haven't seen her since she caught me rifling through her drawers. Well, so, so you, you know what she's doing? Uh, what am I, a psychic? Emily, no, I do not know what she is doing. Excuse me, it's just a question. There's no need to get your boxes in a bunch. Well, where did you go? You, you ran out of here before we could make a plan. I went to the police station. The police station? Yeah. Out of Emily, do you realize how many laws we have broken? If you tell the police that Meg has Dusty's wallet, she will tell them that I broke into her room. No, she won't. Dusty's missing. Missing? And you think Meg... Ooh, that naughty nurse. Yeah, mm. looks like. <laughs> Did you tell the police that that make us just decent? No. I told Paul. Emily says he's innocent, that someone else is involved. That's wrong. Let's go. No, look, I can't do this. Not again. I can't lie to you again, Jennifer. 